Hey guys, welcome to DIY Tuesday with Oil Life. I'm Sarah. I'm Emily. And we are here to do a little bit of fall prep. So for those of you who are headed into like the colder weather, it's October now, so. Yeah, and it's cold here. It's cold. It's the cold. It's changing. <laughs> Definitely. So we've got some awesome stuff to kind of prepare your house, prepare you for fall. So that's great. Today's giveaway, you guys are all looking forward to it. I know you are. Uh, we are doing a DIY download that we'll be giving away. So all you need to do is share this video and comment your favorite season below. And you'll be entered to win one of these. And get this, if we win or if we get 300 shares, mm -hmm. we will also give away 10 or I guess 11. 11. 11 of our lookbooks along with the DIY download so that you can give them out to all your friends or if you do a class. I don't know. So that'll be awesome. 300 shares and we will give away 11 lookbooks and a DIY download. Um, so definitely share this video and comment your favorite season below. Um, so we do have some awesome sales going on. Emily, tell us a little bit yeah, more. Yeah, so it's fall, so we are falling prices sell. Love it. Um, and so that's going on right now. You can find that on our website. There's a tab for it. There's over 100 products and some of them are up to 60% off. So make sure you go and check that out. That will end October 11th, so that's next Wednesday. So make sure you're checking that out. I just wanted to highlight one of the products that we have. Um, we have these really cool, um, we call them CD cases. Yes, they <laughs> If you guys know what those are. Um, anyway, so they're made to hold sample vials. Um, and so these are currently for five bucks and they're five bucks, I said it all. <laughs> uh, so five dollars for each of these and they're in our our last year's fabrics. Um, that's why they're discounted, but that's a still five bucks. Um, get yourself a sampling pouch or gifts for your downline if they're just starting out and they need something desperately for their samples. All these are five bucks online. So make sure you go check that out. That's the falling prices tab on our website. And again, that goes through next Wednesday. Sweet. Okay, so we're ready to get started. Yeah. We have two DIYs for you today. Okay, we're doing a skin balm as well as an autumn foaming soap. So stay tuned, don't give up on us yet. Uh, so we will start off with the skin balm. So I'm gonna make it and then Emily's gonna tell you a little bit about some of our ingredients. Uh, but first things first, this one is requiring a microwave. So that's why we've kind of shifted areas. Um, you gonna see a new part of the yes, kitchen. Yes, a new part, it's great. Uh, so I will be putting in a half cup of our coconut oil. I will be putting in two tablespoons of shea butter and two tablespoons of, our, or three tablespoons of beeswax. Sorry about that. So, I'm gonna take away, sorry if I'm a mess, don't judge me. So you're putting in the coconut oil right Yeah, so the coconut oil is going in. Coconut oil is messy. It is messy. Um, so before I jump into like some of the ingredients here and tell you a little bit about them, I wanna know in the comments below, um, what do you guys do to prepare your house for fall? Do you do fall cleaning as opposed to spring cleaning? Do you decorate it? Um, in all the fall colors. What do you do for to prepare your house for fall? Um, we are making a couple uh, DIY things, so maybe that's your answer. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna talk about some of the ingredients. She's now putting in the beeswax. We um, sell this. We yeah, sell we this. sell beeswax, so you can find that online. Um, and then while she's mic she's gonna microwave it, it's gonna take about two minutes, you said? About two minutes total. Yeah. Um, so what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it in once I'm done, putting in the shea butter, it's a little bit sticky, so. Be aware of that. Um, but you're gonna microwave it for about 30 seconds at a time and then pull it out and stir it. Uh, so the beeswax is actually gonna take the longest out of all the ingredients to melt. So be aware of that, give it some time. It'll be about two minutes in There'll total. There'll be little beads in your yes. melted butters. So and it'll kind of take a little you. while to uh, melt. Um, yes. But they'll eventually get there and then you'll have the right consistency. So we're, I'm gonna talk about some of the oil she's gonna put in after it uh, melts completely. Um, and so the first one is almond oil. Um, so we sell this as well on our website. Almond oil is really good for the skin. Um, it's especially good for sensitive skin. So if you struggle with that or you have a child who has sensitive skin, um, almond oil is the way to go. Um, so it's also good to put in a skin balm because um, it'll help soothe the skin and help heal it. Um, and it won't be too harsh because your skin if you're using skin balm, it's probably because your skin's already sensitive to the to the winter weather and the cold outside. So that's a really great product, and that will be added in as soon as the uh, the as mixture is done. melted. <laughs> um, so yeah, so I'll just tell you a little bit. If you guys are answering, if you're just joining us, answer the question: um, What do you guys do to prep your house for fall? 
Um, I absolutely love fall. I love the fall colors. So I decorate my entire home with fall leaves. Cute. And I love that. I love like, um, what are they called? Cornucopias? Is that the name of one? Yes, I don't know. Yes, I can't think yes. of Yeah, so like just harvest all the way around. I skip Halloween and I go straight for harvest. I just love the harvest. So let us know in the comments below um, what you guys do to prep your house for fall. Um, and then also just as we're starting to get that meal did, um, we're doing two giveaways. So comment and share this video and make sure that you comment your, uh, what was it? Why you like fall? Uh, what was that? Your favorite season. Your favorite season and shared in the word share. Um, you'll be entered to win our DIY download. If we get 300 shares, so that's you guys sharing it and the people you shared it to sharing it. Yes. Um, if you get 300 of those in 24 hours, mm -hmm. um, we'll also give away 11 of these lookbooks, which have our amazing stickers in here, so you don't have to print them yourself, um, and one of these DIY downloads, so then you can hold your own class. It's starting to melt, you guys. Hopefully, you can see a little bit. It's kind of a not the best consistency. So yet. make sure that you're commenting. And sharing, maybe you can tell us a story about when you had to meal <laughs> DIY ingredients <laughs> in the microwave and how long it took you. Um, so I'll tell you a little bit. So we talked about almond oil. Um, the next two oils that are going to go in this once it's uh, fully melted into each other uh, are two essential oils. And so it's lavender and melaleuca. Um, so lavender is really great for soothing, healing, and um potentially getting rid of scars or preventing scars. Um, so lavender will go in it and that will be great for that. If you if your skin is chapped and it's already like peeling, um, lavender will soothe it and um, help it heal. And then the second is melaleuca. Melaleuca is really good for um, cleaning wounds and making sure that they don't get infected. Um, it also leaves your skin really uh, smooth and soft. So those two combined are a really great combination for a skin balm, um, which, which is what this is. And so uh, let me know in the comments below if you were to make this DIY yourself. And obviously the most um, fun part of DIYs or the most important part is that you can swap the essential oils out. So you can make a skin balm for any time of the year and put essential oils in there that are specific to the seasonal um, issues that will be happening. So let me know what um, essential oils you would put in um, a fall skin balm for yourself. Personally, I love cedarwood. Um, for me, it does a similar thing that lavender does, and I'm not very partial to the aroma of lavender, so I like cedarwood. And so that's one I would put in for skin um, instead of lavender. And speaking of seasonal, we have our stickers. Yeah. So this is almost done, so I'll give this to you. But these stickers are from our lookbook. Hopefully you guys remember that. Um, so you can actually peel them right out of our lookbook or you can print them online with the DIY download. So uh, the one that we're going to make is already cut out and ready to go. We printed that one off ourselves. Um, or you can just peel them right out of the lookbook. Yeah, you can nice. find it right in the lookbook right here. All pretty, oilproof, waterproof. Ours are not because we printed them here, but um, these are. So make sure you get the lookbook so you can get the oilproof, waterproof stickers. Definitely. And add them to your recipe jar well, and this is what is, is this the four ounce jar this is the eight ounce, eight ounce jar so this is our eight ounce uh low profile jar i love the low profile jar like cool as looking. opposed to the taller one mm -hmm. so you and can also find this online there. yeah it's easier to get into the and i actually made it in advance so this is what it's going to look like when it's done so you can just stick your hand in there and rub it wherever you like me i personally get really dry knuckles it's kind of a weird thing but that's just in my the winter. hands get really dry in the winter. So this is the type of thing that I would keep with me and paw my knuckles. So okay. okay, so while she's finishing up that and we'll watch her and he adds another round. I think we might be done. So she's stirring it up and seeing if she can get the little beelets okay. to melt. Yep. Okay, so it's perfect. finished and ready to go. Um so next I'm gonna add in our almond oil. So I'll be putting in two tablespoons of almond oil. I'm just gonna use the, the tablespoon that I was already using. Because it's so hot, it'll be fine. So I'm gonna get one. And while she's doing that, I'll just show you. So I use today, personally, I use the essential basics to look up those two oils. And um, so lavender and melaleuca. 
They're about four pages apart because um, it's alphabetical. But I use the essential basics to look those up real quick and just remind myself what they're good for. Um, see if there was anything I missed that I could share with you guys. Um, so this is what the essential basics looks like inside. It's two oils per page. Really, really nicely laid out, really quick, easy to find the oils and find what you're looking for on the go. Um, so I suggest getting this if you don't have it yet. Um, yeah. So I put 10 drops of each oil, 10 drops of Melaleuca and 10 drops of lavender in here. And it is smelling good. ready to go. And also a nice tip for those of you that have the glass Pyrex, uh, you know, like the liquid measuring oh, cups. Oh yeah, with the handles. Those make it really, really easy to microwave and pour into your jar. Unfortunately, we didn't have those, so. Um, you don't need a funnel or You don't need a funnel or anything, mess. but if you do have like one of those glass Pyrex jars, those are definitely microwave safe and they're great for this part when I let everyone see you pour it. Yes, you can see. I moved the book for you guys so you can see her. So I'm just gonna pour it. Look at them skills. Thank you. Worked hard. Okay. So that's it. Easy, right? So then I'm just gonna let that set. As you can see, it's kind of clearish yellow right now. Uh, but once it is done, let it sit out. Probably about an hour should be fine. But I don't know. Maybe overnight to be safe. What do you yeah. Think? I mean, that was just an hour ago. That was just an hour ago, so it's pretty good. So it'll turn out looking like this once it's set and ready to go. So it's awesome, and you can put your cute sticker on top, and you're done. Yeah. So we ready for the foaming soap? And we should leave the lid off while we let it. Yes. Yeah. Leave so the lid off while you're letting it dry because it's really hot, and it'll steam a little bit. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, so let's make some, what is it, foaming soap. Yes. It's, it's called Autumn Stroll. Stroll. So this is our lovely label. Okay. Um, so we're going to fill this bottle with our soap and I'm going to do it right up here on this box. You can see it. So what, what's going in first? We're going to put the funnel on and then we're going to put our water in, which was a half cup. We've got a half cup of water going in there. Yeah. Half cup of water. So when, when you put the water in, you just want to make sure it doesn't fill the container all the way so that you have room for your other ingredients. And then we're going to put three tablespoons of glycerin. This is vegetable glycerin. We um, sell this. We're going to put that we got in it right there. up there. That's what it looks like. So we do sell the glycerin. Yeah, so we sell the glycerin right here. So glycerin is awesome. Um, it's mostly used in soaps, moisturizers, things like that. Um, and basically, it's really, really good for your skin. So it helps moisturize your skin, cleanses your skin. So whether you use it in an actual foaming soap or you want to use it as a toner or a face wash or things like that, glycerin is actually a really good ingredient to have. So, And then we're going to put three tablespoons of Castile soap. Yep. Hopefully I said that right, guys. Castile soap is awesome too. Uh, it's basically 100% natural, no chemicals, anything like that. So good soap for making DIY recipes with. Then we're going to add the essential oil. So I'm going to take the funnel off in the front and this one we're going to add four different essential oils mm -hmm. we're going to do two drops of bergamot or bergamot however you wish to say that <laughs> people say it differently we're going to do two drops of juniper berry this is probably one of my favorite essential oils I love how it smells. that was three but don't tell anyone <laughs> then we're going to do uh, three drops of white fur now this is an oil that just got discontinued by um, doTERRA. Um, I think I might just put four in there because I was talking. But that's okay. <laughs> just um, the, the number of drops is, you know, <laughs> suggestive. So, um, but you can easily um, put Siberian fur in replace of this one. Um, they have equal um, properties and do the similar things. And then we're going to do three drops of frankincense. We'll see if this one is going to come out. Frankincense. So those are the essential oils. And you can add a little bit more water to fill it up. I don't have any right now here with me, but you could then top it off with water. Um, and put your foaming pump back on the top and you have a delightful hand sanitizing um, foaming, soap. foaming soap for the falls. Put it next to your bathroom sink or your kitchen sink or your guest bathroom sink. Right um, to put it. <laughs> yeah, and it smells lovely. We had a person on Instagram already make it. 
um, and tag us in it and they were so excited how lovely it smelled so um, so yeah so that's that's our two DIYs for today um, let us know in the comments oh that's really that's really nice I like that the juniper berry and the fir the wood and the juniper berry I love together it's so good um, so yeah, let us know in the comments your favorite fall DIY. Just another chance to enter, to win. Definitely. So we're gonna talk about our giveaways one more time before yep. we go. Okay, one last time. So we are doing a giveaway today. We will be giving away our DIY download. Um, so it has all of the recipes, it's got table plants, it's got everything you need to hold your own autumn class. Um, and so we'll be giving away one of these. Uh, all you have to do is share our video and comment below your favorite season. Uh, and then if we get uh, 300 shares or more, we will also give away 11 of our lookbook. So if you decide to hold a class or give them out to your friends or keep all 11 to yourself, you can. Uh, but we will do that if we get more than 300 shares. So. Awesome. So make sure you're sharing and commenting. Um, make sure this video goes viral. Yes. Love we it. want to be famous. <laughs> um, and then just what, last one last thing before we close. We do have sales going on. They're good through um, next Wednesday. There's like 100 products on sale, up to 60% nice. off some of them. This is one that's really high uh, percentage off. $5 for these awesome sample vial cases. So make sure you find them on the website under the following prices tab um, and check that out. We will see you Friday. We'll see you Friday. Bye.